And welcome back. It is 624 on Daybreak and new this morning. Today is National STEM or STEAM Day across the country. That's science, technology, engineering, arts and math. And according to the United States Census Bureau, it's now celebrated each year on November 8th. And to mark that occasion, Storm Team 2 meteorologist Elise Smith went to a local elementary school that recently implemented not only STEAM related coursework, but an entire laboratory dedicated to those subjects. Hey there, we're here at Forest Elementary School in Williamsville, and I'm joined by Kristen Streit, who is one of the STEAM teachers here, and we are in their STEAM lab for National STEAM and STEM Day. So thank you so much for joining, joining us, Kristen. And can you tell us a little bit about the room we're in right now? Sure, so this is the first year that we have STEAM here in the district. Um, so we started from the ground up, um, it was a blank slate with traditional desks. We were able to buy new furniture, um, lots of gear for the kids. We've got the Lego wall, we've got magnet tiles, we've got obviously lab materials. Um, pretty much anything that we've been able to think up, we've been able to find support to purchase, which has been great. Um, the kids are loving it. The kids are enjoying the flexibility it affords. They absolutely love being creative. They love the critical thinking. Um, you know, for us as teachers, you know, we're preparing these little ones for a world that we have no idea what it's going to look like. So giving them the opportunities to think outside the box and be creative and try new things, I think is so important because we're preparing them for a world that we're not sure what it will bring. And of course, for today being National STEM or STEAM Day, STEM, of course, science, technology, engineering, and math. We add the A in for arts, um, for STEM or STEAM. Uh, what has the significance been of having this being in your program now? Have the kids really taken to it? Have you been able to notice a difference just within this past year uh, with having this in their curriculum? Absolutely. Um, I think the biggest change I'm finding for the kiddos is that when they are uh, met with a challenge, I'm finding that they are much faster to be okay with something not working out the way that they want it to. Um, one of our little kindergartners, Jack, he even said to me the one day when something didn't work, he goes, oh, that's a happy accident. I'm going to try it a different way. Um, and I think that for me, seeing them um, learn to handle challenging things in a much different and much more flexible way is really exciting. Well, thank you, Kristen, for showing us this STEM and STEAM lab here. And for National STEM Day, we'll leave it at that. I'm Storm Team 2 meteorologist Elise Smith reporting here in Williamsville.